guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. So today I kind of wanted to go over what I put in my overnight bag, what I heard from other moms is essential. And then I'm kind of kind of gonna do a video once I have the baby, if I was on point with it, what I would have changed, what I would have done differently. So here you can see my little overnight suitcase. And so far I have the stuff for me and my husband that fits in this. It's small, it's simple. I love it, I actually had it for my wedding. I use it as my carry-on. So I figured, why not use it now? So I'll start with this little bag here. So this is basically, I put all our toiletries in here. I included just a hairbrush. I have just some cream. It's one of the belly butters I've been using. Use it every night to moisturize with. My, just like a hand lotion, body lotion. And then in here, of course, you know, I have to have the unicorn. It's just your simple, I have my contacts, shampoo, conditioner. I also brought like a little mousse, little travel size thing, a mousse for my hair. Let's see what else. My contacts, like I said, Q-tips, two brush for us, toothpaste is in here. I also packed like, like a light tinted moisturizer, a thing of mascara, cause you know, I mean, I'm probably not gonna happen, but I'm gonna try to take some pictures at the hospital with the baby and me and my husband. So, so I don't look like a complete bag of crap. I put that stuff in here, put that up. Right into this bag. I also included like one or two extra pads. I know they're gonna give them to you um, at the hospital, but there's ones that you feel more comfortable with. I do have these overnight thick pads that I put in a few of these in here. That's really it for this. And now, oh, forgot to put these in there. Okay, toothpaste, like I said. Small toiletries with this, from what I understood from my other moms, um, more is less. I mean, less is more, sorry, take it back. Less is more. So again, I try to keep it as simple as possible for me and my husband. So, all right. Now in here, front little pocket, I have a, little, a robe and a pair of comfy slippers. I'm probably honestly gonna go there. I have an outfit sitting right there ready. I'm anal, I have OCD. I guess I started early, but an outfit that I would like to put on to go to the hospital in so that it's ready. The pair of comfy pants, a nursing bra, and a t-shirt. And then I'm, I would like to wear my Adidas slides that I've been wearing my entire pregnancy. It's the only thing that doesn't make my feet hurt or if I'm standing for a while. So, yeah. In here, I have um, the nursing pads. Uh, some people use the disposable ones, but these go right into your bra. They're reusable. I actually got them to, from Bump Box. Shout out to Bump Box. I'll have the link for them below. They go right into your bra and help you with leaking. I just have a chapstick, a headband for my hair, and that's really it in this bag. Oh. Hydration packet, that's actually from my wedding. I don't know why this is still in here, but just, you know, a headband or two for, you know, hold your hair back. Put that back in there. Okay. Now, from here, let's see. I'm gonna be able to open this. There we go. So right here, I also wanted to bring the chalk shoes because I want her to have a cute um, pictures when she's coming home. So I'm gonna write um, here, Baby Vega, her name and everything. So I'm taking these with me, shout out to Chalkboard Shoes. They had sent me these, I love these. These are a cute gift for anyone who's pregnant. Or if you want some cute pictures, buy them for yourself, maternity shoot. And then I have over here that I, didn't, I forgot to put in, but I'm putting in now. I would hope that she fits, I don't know if she's gonna fit in it. So Mrs. Vega, I'd like to take her home in this with those shoes. 
another thing that every mom is gonna need. Sometimes your hospital will supply it, sometimes they won't. And sometimes you just wanna invest in one that's really, really well. This is a post-mom belly band. So by Key Belly Postpartum Belt. So I'm gonna open it real quick so you guys can see it. This is a must have, whether you want it on your registry or buy it for yourself. But this is helps with recovery. After you give birth, it's just something you really need to have to help you just recover. I heard every mom say this is a must, must, must have. So here we go. Obviously I can't show you how you wear it now because it's not gonna fit around my belly. <laughs> but it comes with three different belts. One for is one goes lower, middle, and high. Okay. I read a little bit off. Okay, got some stuff inside. Ooh. Uh -oh. And right inside the box, you see all the instructions on how to properly use it. So this also helps with like just with your back. Again, keeping everything just tightened together and healing properly. You know, you want your stomach to go back down, you want your organs and everything to go back into place. This is the perfect postpartum belt to kind of help you with that. Some people feel uncomfortable with it being too high or too low. Like I said, it comes in three different, you know, belts so that you can wear them all at once. Wear just one, two, three. Also, they do recommend for different sections for the different belts what time periods, which are all in the instructions. They'll tell you from one to seven days after a vaginal birth, you wear the stomach belt. And then section two, one to six weeks after vaginal birth, stitches are healed after C-section. You know, it shows you right here, section two, so on and so forth. So this is really great, a step-by-step -step process that makes you feel really comfortable with this belt and that you know it's gonna last, it's great quality. See everything right here. Oh, great. And as you see in this picture, what each one, two, and three with what section and all of them together. This is just something you really, really, really want to invest in. You're gonna need a postpartum belt. The hospital sometimes will supply you one, sometimes your insurance will give you one, but they're not always the best quality. So I really wanted to invest with a, um, with one myself. So Key Babies, ooh, that just dropped. Key Babies, Key Belly Postpartum. Once again, I'm gonna have the link below. This is fantastic. It's good for, like I said, postpartum recovery, C-section and vaginal birth. So some belts aren't that great for C-sections and vice versa. So again, I'll have the link below with all the information. Ladies, the must have. Okay. So this is coming with me. Now, onto the rest of it. Now I have in here a pair of button down pajamas for, you know, the overnight or just to be comfortable in. I have a little washcloth to wash our face or body with while we're at the hospital if we need to. Here a pair of biker shorts, loose fitting. I did the arm maternity. I don't know how much my belly is gonna shrink. That's another thing I'm concerned about. So I brought these to come home in. They're super loose fitting. I feel like it's still gonna be warm. It's gonna be September. So I packed these in there. I got my nursing bra. I have a pair of socks for my husband, a pair of underwear for my husband, and a tank top for him to change into. Put that back. I put a pair of pants in there for him, a t-shirt for him. I have a sweatshirt for him right here because I don't know how cold it'll be in the hospital. Simple sweater for me because I, again, I don't know how cold it's gonna be in the hospital right now. I'm constantly sweating. So <laughs> I have a t-shirt in there to go home in. Put that right in there. A pair of nice comfortable socks. And then I have right here a few pairs oh and don't forget a pair of underwear that's comfortable in for after birth so that goes right in here and again i'm not packing ample amount of stuff because 
my hospital only allows you to stay for 24 hours right now. So I don't know what your hospital does. You may be staying for two days, three days, four days. You don't know due to coronavirus. My hospital is, if you have a vaginal birth, you are there for only 24 hours. If you are there, if you have a C-section, you are there for 48 hours. So again, I'm gonna put an, maybe put an extra t-shirt in here, find an extra pair of underwear, just in case I do have a C-section. I'm not planning on it. So we'll go from there. Here, I packed a few different outfits just in case. I don't know how big she's gonna be when she comes home. So I have a newborn outfit. I have um, just a plain onesie, zero to three months. Cause I thought it looked look super tiny. Cause this is also zero to three months. Like how big this thing is. So I don't know. And a pair of socks for her. I put two just in case. Little mittens. And a headband to go with her outfit. And then just two hats. Cause I said it's cold in there. So again, I think I did pack too much now that I'm going through it, but it happens. So I put, I don't know how cold or hot it's gonna be at that time too. So that's why I have one long sleeve newborn. And then I have a short sleeve newborn for her. And then I just have a swaddle because I would also like the nurses to show me what, um, how to use a swaddle properly. I have one of the Velcro ones and then I'm going to bring also the mus muslin ones, I think they pronounce, the ones that you wrap up. So I want them to show me how to do it that. And honestly, that's, that's really it. Less is more, like I said with this, from what I understood. Again. You know, I'm gonna do a video about how I felt going into the hospital and afterwards. If there's anything else I wish I would have brought. A lot of people, I'm gonna bring my um, pillow for the, our nursing pillow with us and maybe one pillow for me that I'm comfortable with. And that's really it, a blanket someone said to bring. I don't know if I wanna bring all that. It just seems like a lot to worry about. We have our car seat by the door ready to go. That's really it. So I just wanted to share this with you. A lot of the postpartum stuff, um, I heard the hospital gives you, so I didn't pack anything as far as um, squeezy bottles, sprays, witch hazel. Uh, I have witch hazel home. So I know that a hospital will supply you with postpartum stuff, so I didn't want to pack all that. You know, I want to see what they give me first before I spend money on things. And then just go from there. Like I said, the only thing I did spend money on and invest in is one of these bands. That goes right on top, box right in here, and we are good to go. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I did a lot of research. I looked into a lot of things and this is what I found kind of is the best. I also heard bringing some snacks. I'm gonna pack some snacks because I don't know if your hospital allows you, but mine doesn't allow you to, once you're in the maternity ward, you're not allowed to leave. You can't go downstairs for a drink, coffee, nothing you're in you're in so they'll bring you water obviously and so forth like that um i don't know what they'll supply us as far as food or snacks so i'm gonna put in some maybe some bars small bag of chips or something like that you know and just kind of go from there otherwise that's it i'm trying to keep it simple so if anyone else has anything that you think i should add comment below and that's really it. And thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching with me. Subscribe, you know the deal. My Instagram, everything below. I'll have a link for this too as well. And guys, stay safe out there and good luck. Bye.